a legal challenge coming out of Ireland uh, against the government here at Westminster over a Troubles Legacy Act, which plans to end prosecutions of people accused of murder and terrorism in Northern Ireland. Well, Ina's deputy PM, Micheál Martin, has said they will take their case to Strasbourg, claiming the bill is incompatible with human rights obligations. Reports indicate that Joe Biden, the US president, gave his personal blessing for the intervention. Well, join us now to discuss this further. Here's our Northern Ireland reporter, uh, Dougie Beatty. Dougie, in a way, this was expected, though, wasn't it? Totally, I mean, this was uh, always coming down the tracks. You remember back in October, we did a, an interview with Officer B, a member of the police service in Northern Ireland that shot dead uh, an active IRA, our man that was in an active IRA service. And he has been back to the courts six times inside 20 years, facing exactly the same charge. And every time he comes back to court, he is cleared and it is a legal killing. So what, base, what the, the real roots of this sit in is in the Good Friday Agreement. During that time in the Good Friday Agreement, Sinn Féin were very, very uh, nervous that they would be taken to court and civil cases taken against them by those, the families of those that they murdered. So Tony Blair, at that time, drew up letters of comfort and some Queen's pardons of mercy were handed out to those in the IRA because, of course, Sinn Féin is the political wing of the IRA. So the only... Now, the IRA did 60% of the killings in Northern Ireland, let's, let's not forget. So every time one of their members was taken to court for a Troubles-related incident, uh, these letters of comfort were brought out, including the Hyde Park bomber, were brought out and said, uh, we have an amnesty, if you like, from the British government. So the only people in that, because you had paramilitaries on the nationalist side and paramilitaries, terrorists, if you like, on the uh, unionist side, and both of those don't keep records. So the state was the only ones that kept records of what went on during the Troubles. So as a result of that, and they didn't have letters of comfort, as a result of that, the only people being brought back to court to face prosecution were those from the security forces. So 25 years on, and an eye-watering amount of money, over £2 billion, had been spent taking these former security forces to court. The British government, and very much pushed on by Johnny Mercer, had said, enough, that's it, we can't continue on with this. A lot of the forensic stuff and all is far too old, and they brought through the legacy Speaking bill in order to basically give an amnesty to those in the security forces. Now, the families of that have turned around and said, we can't have this, it's illegal, we want our day in court. And of course, the Irish government, who is Fianna Foyle, uh, Miho Martin is the, the, or the tarnished down there, the Deputy Prime Minister, has taken this case. And ironically, if it goes through, and if it's ruled that it's illegal, that will actually also, because it's the two sides of the one coin, it will argue that those ladders of comfort are also not legal. And what will end up happening is that you will have members of Sinn Féin who are in government and the biggest party in the Republic of Ireland being brought to court to defend themselves for historical incidents that happened maybe over 50 years ago. So there may be some political mischief here as well because don't forget there may be an election in the south of Ireland in the next year and the, the thought of your electoral opposition being arrested and brought away to face charges of some of the worst and heinous crimes and terrorist crimes that have ever been done in Britain uh, would be uh, quite the thing for a political party. Uh, Jiggy, thank you very much indeed. We hope that open to you watching and listening at home. It certainly is a big thing, but just think of yourself. And um, if this was member, we're finished with Dougie. Um, if you have a member of your family who has been murdered, uh, no matter by whom, and you think they will get away with it because of this bill, would you not interfere? Would you not say, hey, I want everybody brought to account who can be brought to account on this? Or do you think it's time to let bygones be bygones? That sounds pretty stupid when you put it like that, but um, a murder is a murder. Um, a lot of you won't, won't agree, but um, that's what's happening. The Irish government is going to the European Court of Human Rights about this one to challenge it. Yeah, so do keep your emails coming in on that story or indeed any of the stories that we're talking about today, gbviews at gbnews.com.